So take a look at these bad boys. These are absolutely delicious. Trust me when I tell you that you are gonna make these on repeat. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Myra from Low Carb Love, and today we're gonna to be making keto crispy Brussels sprouts with bacon. So, this is my absolute favorite side when eating out, of course for holidays, just period. I'm obsessed with Brussels sprouts, so you know this is gonna be an amazing recipe. So get ready, I'm gonna walk you step by step, and we're gonna get started with chopping our Brussels sprouts. So let me show you the bag that I used. I like to make my life super simple, so this here is just ready to use, it's already washed. I grabbed this from Traders, and we are going to just chop the little, here, I'm, I'm gonna show you, I'll show you. So. Basically, you're going to cut off the little, I don't know what you want to call it, the little butt or the little head, but you chop that off and then cut it in half. So if you want, you know, this is how I would leave them, just like this, but you know, this is your dish. If you want to, you know, cut it in fours, then you can and end up with something like this. But for the most part, I like to half mine and um, that's how I make them. So we're just going to chop this up and I already have this here so you can take a look at what it's gonna look like. So we're using half the bag so I'm gonna make two batches out of this or um, you can do whatever you want if you want to make the entire bag because you're going to serve you know your family then we can totally do that. But I'm using half for this recipe and what we're gonna do here is use our special bacon this is a homemade bacon, but you're gonna use any recipe that you, I mean, any bacon that you have at home. And this is about one cup, okay? So we're using one cup to about half the bag of our Brussels sprouts, and then we have our other seasonings. We also have a little sweetener. It's gonna get like a little touch of sweetness to it, and it's all gonna balance out. So let's get started with this recipe. Okay, so now that we have our Brussels sprouts all chopped up, let's go ahead and cook our bacon. We're gonna cook this over, I would say, a medium to high heat. You just don't want it to burn because remember, the bacon is still gonna get crispy and continue cooking in the oven. Okay, so now here is our bacon, nice and cooked. And we actually want the fat from that. So you don't have to add any additional fat. We're just gonna use this delicious fat and put it all If you guys have any, um, you know, special tricks that you use when uh, making your Brussels sprouts, then make sure that you comment down below and share that with everyone else. Okay, so now we have our Brussels sprouts, our fat, you know, our bacon fat and our bacon all mixed in here. Looks beautiful. Now what I like to do is I like to add a tablespoon of sweetener, but I like the caramelized touch that it gives it. If you want your Brussels sprouts to be completely savory, then you would just go with a teaspoon because you still want to add some sweetener um, to just bring everything together and balance out the saltiness from the bacon. Okay, so we have our sweetener. Now we're just gonna do, let's say about two good pinches. Remember, your bacon is salty, so we're going to add our pepper to the taste. Okay, give that a good mix for stir. Okay, so I ended up adding an extra tablespoon of oil so that they're all nicely coated. If your bacon renders enough fat, then you don't need to add any additional, but um, there is no, like just so you understand, there's no excess oil, they're just literally coated. And that's what's gonna um, allow for them to crisp and be perfect. So let's go ahead and place our bowl in our baking dish inside with our little Brussels sprouts, 400 degrees, and we will check it in about 10 minutes to see where we're at. My mom's, my mom's saying how much she loves Brussels sprouts. She got happy because she saw that we're making these. So we're doing a little mix at 10 minutes and let's go ahead and put them back in so they can get nice and crispy. Okay. Okay. 
Okay guys, so very quickly, let's go ahead and take out our Brussels. So take a look at these bad boys. These are absolutely delicious. Trust me when I tell you that you are gonna make these on repeat. Remember, this is only half of the recipe, so if you are having a large Thanksgiving dinner or you are feeding more than four people, then of course you would wanna double or even triple the recipe. Trust me, it is that good and you are going to wanna do that. So we ended up baking this for a total of 20 minutes. Okay guys, so here is the final product. I have told you this before. This is my absolute favorite side on the face of the planet, even before I went low carb and keto. So you already know that this is bomb. Let me go ahead and get a good bite here. Some of that bacon, a little Brussels. Hold on, I got more bacon than Brussels. This would be like the perfect bite. It's like bacon, Brussels, bacon. You guys have to make this. I'm telling you right now, if you love Brussels sprouts like I do, go now. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. Round of applause. <laughs> guys, this tastes like restaurant style Brussels sprouts. I'm not joking. Don't be afraid to add the sweetener because they do not taste sweet at all. Mm, it just tastes like the perfect balance. And that's what you want. You don't want the like saltiness to be overpowering. You don't want the sweetness. It's just like a perfect balance. So if you love Brussels sprouts, go make this. You're going to love it. Your family's going to love it. This is a great dish for Thanksgiving. If you're going to a potluck or something like that to take with you, boom, this is it. And of course I have so many other recipes. They'll be linked down in the description below for Thanksgiving dinners and how you can have a delicious keto friendly or low carb Thanksgiving dinner. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Tag me on Instagram so that I can reshare your recreations. I love watching them. I know everybody else does too. Make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. The post notifications are so important so that you guys don't miss any of my future videos. I am posting three times a day. I mean, three I am posting three times a week at the moment and I am focused on Thanksgiving recipes. I can't wait for you guys to make this and I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say. So make sure you comment down below and let me know if you've tried this recipe or if you plan on doing so. I love you guys and I will see you on the next video. Mwah.